Lastly, Professor Dunn wants us to believe that everything in this universe came from the Big Bang. A big explosion in outer space. But what he doesn't understand is that nothing plus nothing does not equal something. It doesn't equal everything. Nothing means there were no gases, no molecules. There was nothing in existence. Then there was just this big explosion and everything just happened to become something. Professor Dunn does believe in the supernatural, however, because if everything came from nothing, then there can be nothing more supernatural than that. Time. move to the closing arguments of tonight's debate. Each debater will be given three minutes of uninterruptions. Dr. Dunn will be first. I'd like to thank Dr. Edwards for the debate tonight. And while he has made some excellent points, the bottom line is that he has not provided any solid proof of God's existence. All this so-called evidence is hearsay much like Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. There are so many contradictions which I've already brought to your attention, like saying God is powerful and he can do anything, yet he cannot lie? Really? Is that what you're telling me? That, come on folks, it, it, it can't be both. So which is it? And just like all the world religions, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism and animism. It's so very confusing. Which one am I supposed to believe if I want to get to heaven? Dr. Edwards defends the Christian God, but if he were born in India, would he be up here defending Hinduism? Maybe where we were born and raised does impact our beliefs. And our beliefs in taking kids to church in the old day was the right thing at that time. But is it the right thing today? What proof was there or is there that that was the right thing. Unfortunately, folks, there is no God. There is no right and wrong. There is no moral law. What we believe to be good and supposedly to do the right thing is absolutely no consequence in this life. It's survival of the fittest. Life is short, too short. And my advice to each and every one of you tonight is to live life to the fullest. Get out and be all that you can be before it's completely gone. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dunn. And now for Dr. Edwards' rebuttal. The evidence of creation is all around us. And the Bible speaks of this in Romans chapter 1, verse 20, where, and I'm paraphrasing here, in that God says man is without excuse because the evidence of his existence can be seen in his handiwork. Man is without excuse because it's only logical to assume that a clock has a clock maker. Our bodies and the universe are finely tuned and more complex than any clock, any supercomputer. To think it was by chance is the same as saying that a tornado hit a junkyard and the result was a Boeing 747. The Bible proves itself to be divine as it was written by over 40 authors, 40 different authors, over 1,500 years, with hundreds of prophecies coming true. History, archeology, span and science all verify the truths within the Bible. 
And unlike other religions, as Dr. Dunn referred to, Christianity is the only one based on grace with a resurrected Savior. You can't earn it because it's a gift. And if any of you want that gift, all you have to do is trust in the Lord. And for only Christ has paid for your debt of sin. Lastly, we require justice for wrongs done to us. That is built within us. If there is no God, then there is no right, and there is no wrong. Just survival of the fittest, as Dr. Dunn pointed out. But God is not just a God of love. He is righteous and holy, and He must punish sin. And He has. He punished his own son. Jesus punished him for your sins, for my sins. And all Jesus Christ wants is a relationship with you and me. And you can have that right now if you choose. Don't wait till tomorrow. Because as in the scripture it says, tomorrow is never promised to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, Dr. Dunn and Dr. Edwards, for participating in tonight's debate. That concludes our time here this evening, and the recorded live session of this event will be posted on YouTube tomorrow on our channel. Thank you so much for attending tonight, and be safe going home. Let's give these guys a round of applause. Dr. Dunn, I'm a reporter for the local paper here. Do you feel that you have won or lost the debate tonight? I don't feel like it's a matter of winning or losing. Dr. Edwards brought up some good points to ponder. But to answer your question, no, I don't feel like I've lost. And you know why that is? Why? If he had won, I'd be switching sides. Good night. Give me your wallet. Hurry up. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. You know this is wrong. You won't get away with it. It's wrong? There is no right or wrong, remember? What are you talking about? Oh, I caught your spill on God tonight. Yeah, I was in there. I went there hoping to, to change, to believe. Oh, but you set me straight. And you know what? You're right. If there's no justice, no right or wrong, then this is just me surviving. I've got bills to pay, mouths to feed, you know? There are still laws that we must abide by, but you can't... There is no justice. It's an illusion that we created in our minds out of self-love or something like that, you said. And if there isn't such a thing as God, good or evil, then I'm doing this world a favor tonight. Because we live in an overpopulated world. 
and one less mouth to feed can only help. No. Wait! Man, that was a nasty fall you took there. Here, let me help you up. Oh. You okay? It was you. Excuse me? I saw you. Are you okay? I guess it was just a dream, but you had a gun. You shot me. Me? I yeah. shot you? Sir, I wouldn't shoot you. Well. <laughs> Unless you deserved it. I'm just kidding. It seems so real. You said it didn't matter if there's no such thing as right or wrong. Sounds more like a nightmare. Indeed it was. It felt so real, like I said. Maybe it was God trying to get your attention. Maybe. Maybe it was just a dream. I hit my head. Yeah, it's just a dream. Or, like I said, maybe it was God trying to get your attention. Maybe He wants to see you on the winning team. It's going to take more than a scary dream to get me to do that. But thank you for your help. Anytime. Are you sure you don't need to go to the hospital? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay. God bless. Okay, Lord, you've got my attention. You've got my attention now. I can't hear you now. I can. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for never giving up on me. Thank you for being with me each and every day. <laughs> for being there. <laughs> David Ford here. Welcome back to Saving Oscar Productions. Hope you like the latest video skit. We got more videos to come, and if you like this video, believe in what we're doing, trying to share the vision, plant seeds of the gospel throughout the world, then hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and give us some love because we're going to keep going with these video skits and hopefully lead people to Christ. I got an email from the last video from someone that I didn't even know that said that they was going to rededicate their life because they watched the video. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to reach people for Christ. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.